Sometimes I'm asked, what does it mean to be served by an electric cooperative? Before electricity, the state and the country were, were really economically and, and socially divided. There were the people who had electricity, and that was primarily the cities and towns. There were factories, there were jobs, there was opportunity. And then there was the rest of the country and the rest of rural coastal Georgia, which was essentially agriculture. Well, cooperatives came about because at the time, the investor-owned utilities that served the cities didn't think it was worth their while to run lines outside the city limits. There weren't enough people to sell power to. You know, the farmers weren't going to be able to take advantage of it. If they did run, they wanted to charge in excess of $15,000 a mile, and that was in 1930 dollars. Now, one thing that farmers knew an awful lot about was cooperatives. They had already had uh, farm market cooperatives, so it was just a natural evolution of that, that uh, they would form uh, what would be not-for-profit, customer-owned cooperatives. Uh, it actually started when uh, the county agents of McIntosh County and Liberty County began to come together and talk. They formed a coastal electric cooperative uh, in June of 1940 and began to go door to door and solicit memberships. Cooperatives are a unique business model. It's, they don't teach it anymore in school, we're finding out, but it's where a group of people come together who need a service. Or, or have another need and rather than paying somebody else and let them take the extra profits for it, they get together and do it themselves at cost. And so if, in our case, providing electricity, we provide electricity to our members at cost. Coastal Georgia is growing very rapidly. Coastal Electric is very proud to be part of that and to help this area grow and to reach its fullest potential. We're doing that by working with our development authorities to help craft proposals that will attract industries to the area. We're working with our environmental groups to make sure that when those industries come, they adhere to the same standards we do. This is our home. We want to protect our coast. We're working with our schools to try to make sure that the workforce is educated and ready to go. Without question, uh, a hallmark of Coastal Electric Cooperative is the commitment that we give to education in our communities. We support our schools through scholarship programs, through safety, through education programs. We invest over $100,000 a year in our youth. We think our youth is our biggest resource. We want them to have those opportunities to learn and then to come back and work in our area. We want to help create those jobs so that this will still be home. One of the things that Coastal Electric takes great pride in is innovation and technology. We are always trying to figure out how to do more with less. And increasing our response times is one of our goals in all the technologies that we evaluate. Over the years, our focus has been to install smart devices on our system that can bring back information to tell us proactively how the system is functioning. That reduces our time to troubleshoot and figure out where the problems are. Probably no higher calling in life than, than the call to serve, to serve other people. And that's what we feel like we're doing here. We're, we're helping other people. And you gotta feel good about that. And electric co-ops, just by their definition, are people helping other people. Our belief is that we want to be the provider of what our members want. 75 years ago, the next greatest thing in the lives of so many people in rural coastal Georgia was the coming of electricity. That was the transformation. You know, that was the moment that literally brought them out of the darkness into light. Now, 75 years later, that job's been done. And, and we look to the future to say, today, what's the next greatest thing? You know, what will the next generation uh, expect from their electric cooperative? I don't know. I don't know. But I know this, is just as we responded to the needs of the members in 1940, that that's what we will do again. You know, whatever the future holds, whatever direction the technology will lead us, uh, this electric cooperative will be at the forefront of bringing it to our members. I think Coastal Electric has done a tremendous job in making sure that the electricity is not only on, but it, that it stays on. 
and the uh, folks at Coastal Electric were very supportive of everything we wanted to do in the community. Uh, they were always there for us when we needed anything, either in the way of uh, their management team supporting us and being a part of whatever the endeavor was, as well as uh, making contributions to all of these things. So they've uh, always been a, just a tremendous supporter and a good citizen for everything that was going on in uh, South Bryan County.